Okay, friends, today I'm explaining how to construct a square prism. See, uh, it's a, a bit difficult, you know, different problem than the previous one. So, square prism 35 mm sides of the base, 65 mm axis length, rest on HP, and 100 sides of the base, which is inclined to be at 30 degree, and draw the projection of the prism by an axis of the prism is inclined to HP at 45 degree. See, this problem, they're given 35 mm sides of the base and 60 mm axis length. Okay, fine. So next, it's a place from one of its sides on HP. So it's towards your right hand side. So next, that whatever the resting edge is inclined to be P at 30 degree. So here, be careful. Those who are students making a mistake in this problem, this type of problem, here you need to understand which is the inclination to be P. So here, the resting edge should be inclined to be P at 30 degree. Don't incline axis. Okay. And then second position is axis of the prism is inclined to be HP at 45 degree. Okay, so now this is a without locus problem and resting it towards your right hand side. So here it's an edge condition. So we'll take a rectangle, we'll take a rectangle, then I'll take, choose visible line. Okay, the width will be 35, height will be 35, angle will be 0. So I'll place here. Okay, angle is 0, I'll place here. So next I'll go with the line so i'll take a projection line i'll join okay I'll join here and then i'll go to naming so this is a one sorry a and a one and this one is b and bracket b one okay sorry so here b and bracket b one and this one is c So again go to rectangle so here this is the width and this is the height so width is 35 just press and tap and height will be 65 okay so next this will be a visible line so go to visible line after that go to naming so this one is b1 dash is visible but c1 dash is in here it is uh, O1 dash and here it is uh, A1, da A1 dash is visible and D1 dash is invisible and similarly here B dash is visible and C dash is invisible and here you get A dash is visible and A dash is visible D dash is invisible. So go to line, go to center line, so join this. Show the dimension. Show the dimension. Then the second position is axis of the prism is inclined to HP at 45 degree. So with move with copy, just you move it on the x y line and go to rotate. So go to rotate here also. I'll rotate base angle instead of rotating axis. I'll take base and I'll rotate base 90 minus 45 is a 45 is a base angle. And then I'll go to angle between and measure this angle. This is a 45 degree. Next, go to projection line. Projection line, you project this downward. So, first you'll get P and D. Okay, so next, next you'll get A. Okay, so go to the naming. So, this one is uh, C1 and B1 and this one is B1 after that A and D so same line okay so this one is B1 and this one is Okay, so this one is O1. So 
नेक्स्ट नोट नहीं नहीं बी Name in this C and this one is B. So next we go to naming. So we go to another line. This is A. So next this one is D. So first we'll get D. Then we'll get A. Then Yes. Oh. So now, visible and invisible is this very good. So first, I again and go to same my rule. I join all the outer edges by using all the outer edges by using visible line. Okay. Or next, if you're looking from top of an object, top face is completely visible. So it is joined by using visible line. So next, if you're looking from Top of an object, the point A1 and D1 is invisible, so I'll join with a invisible line. Okay, then I'll trim this line because I wanted to use center line there. Okay, I wanted to use center line. So this is the second position. So here is very important. Oh. The students will do a mistake that the second position that is you know. Uh, this axis will be inclined. So here no need to incline the axis, you should incline the resting edge. Okay. So first take a projection line, take parallel line, take parallel line. So incline to VPS 30 degree. This one is so, D dash, and this one is A dash. Next, you go with the center line. So, center line, this one is so, O dash. So, next, again, here you get center line. Okay, so this one is. One dash. So first take a visible line. So now join all the outer edges by using visible. 
visible line all the outer edges by using visible line so i am drawing all the outer edges now okay so it's completed next looking from bottom of an object the bottom face is this bottom face is completely visible so join by using visible line Okay. Then after that, go to invisible incident, and this point D is invisible. So this point is invisible. The line joining between the invisible and visible point. Then again, it is by using induced by using invisible lines. Okay. So next, take a center line. So from the point O to O1. Okay. So this completes the problem. So because that you need to write. Dimensions are in mm. Okay, so here resting edge is 